here's our question for today, which is worth 20 marks. This question is fairly tricky, as at a glance it looks like it's about shapes, and although it does require a lot of knowledge about shapes and angles, it's mostly about patterns and algebra. Right off the bat we're given this table, which gives information about the number of angles in each polygon, the sum of the angles, and the size of each angle. In part A we're told that the sum of the angles is a linear pattern. Because it's a linear pattern we know that the first difference is always the same. We're already given the sum of the angles for the first two polygons. So our first difference is just the difference between these two numbers. Since the difference is 180, we can work out that 180 is the first difference. So to work out the sum of the angles for the next two polygons, we can just add 180 to the previous sum. When we do this, we get the next two sums to be 540 and 720 degrees. And that's worth the first six marks. In part B we have to find a formula for the sum of the angles, which we already know is a linear pattern. To find this formula I recommend making a table such as this, which allows us to visualise it a lot better. This also helps avoid confusion, because the first term starts with n equals 3. We know that the first term gives us a sum of 180 degrees, and that the polygon that gives us this sum has 3 angles. So to get from 3 to 180, we must first take 2 from the 3 to give us the first term and then multiply this by 180 to give us 180 degrees. If you're confused by this, just know that we have to link the number of angles, which is n, to the term number to be able to find the formula in terms of n. For the second term, this can be written as 4 minus 2 as that gives us the second term and multiply it by 180 to give us 360 degrees. Now you can start to see that this will work for any term. However, we need to write this in terms of n. To do this, we should move the 180 to the front of the brackets and rewrite this expression as 180 by n minus 2, where n is the number of angles in the polygon. For working out part b, we get another 5 marks. Moving on to part c, we have to complete the column in the table, showing the size of each angle. To do this we can use what we already have filled into the table to help us. Since the first polygon has 3 angles, which all add up to 180 degrees, we can work out that the size of each angle is 60 degrees. As an equation, this can be written as 180 divided by 3 equals 60. We can do this for the second, third and fourth polygons by dividing the sum of the angles by the number of angles to give us the size of each angle. When we do this we can see that in the polygon that has 4 angles, each of these angles is 90 degrees. This is fairly obvious, seen as a polygon that has 4 angles is just a square. Repeating this for the polygons with 5 and 6 angles, we can work out that the angles are 108 and 120 degrees respectively. Now we have our table completely filled in. And as a result we get 4 marks. In part D, all we have to do is turn our answer from part C into a formula. In part B, we already worked out that the formula for the sum of the angles in the polygon is 180 by n minus 2. And in part C, we worked out that to find the size of each angle in the polygon, we divide the sum by the number of angles, or n. As a result, we can write the formula for the size of each angle as 180 by n minus 2 divided by n. In other words, we divide the sum by the number of angles. And that's the end of the question, which is worth another 5 marks. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you guys again.